Tom Lynch in my studio and I want to share with you a little gizmo, I haven't come up with a name for it yet, that I use when I'm painting outdoors to help find the right proportion and then to help transfer that proportion to my little sketch. Now you might be familiar with one of these. It's a you know common viewfinder where you have this giant panorama and you're trying to decide what portion of the scene that you want to make into a painting. Well, a good idea. Uh, you can use your, your hand, and I'd use that as well. Little L brackets, two sheets of paper where you kind of frame and get an idea of framing the scene. The point being, it's sometimes you might find the right proportion, but transferring it to your sketch doesn't happen as easily. I put together this little gizmo, and I think you might enjoy it. I just want to help you become a better artist. So, what I have is a piece of plexiglass, and I have a dry erase. That's one of those markers that you can, you know, wipe off. So when I am trying to find, so this has a window or proportion. And if I want a close-up view, I would extend my hand further. If I want a larger view of what I see before me, I can bring it in closer. And so what I might do is I might outline right there where these things are. I've got a little bridge going on over there. Now, Keep in mind, we're generally outdoors doing this, but I want to share with you in the studio what this little product, and so I have my then scene. I then can move up a piece of white paper. I'll show you this in closer in a moment to get a view of what I've created. Now, the point being, where I have the hill and so forth, I want to get it in proportion for my scene, whether 8 by 10, 9 by 12, 12 by 16. So I have this next to me where I can bracket down, and I have a couple of little bracket points, I'll show you what I mean, where I can transfer my idea, my proportion, correctly. Because sometimes I make the tree too big, the tree too small, it's in the wrong spot, now it's in the middle. I don't want to mess up when I like I, how I have the arrangement right here. I also have, so I can slide into place, a red film, and that lets me see the value changes it blocks out the color, and so I have a better proportion of value changes. And as I mentioned, you know, the beauty of this, it's dry erase, and so I can rub the marker off, and I'm ready to start again. So, a fun little idea to help you become a better artist. Come on in closer, I'll repeat what I've said so that you can see what I'm talking about right before your eyes. Come on in, take a peek, you might enjoy this. Here's a close-up of my little invention. And it really all it is is two pieces of plastic, plastic on the other side as well. And I have a red that's on the inside, sandwiched. And then that red film I talked about. I'll show you some still photos of this to give you a little bit of the idea. Now though, we'll just assume we're outdoors painting and I'll use this uh, photograph as a, a rough idea. And the idea of the bracketing is, you know, maybe you want to have all of that part. Maybe you want to do a horizontal. And this gives you a, you know, a little window to see through and how much is going to fit in the window. And you can hold it further away from you and you can see that, oh, don't have as much. I may eliminate, put this tree over on this side. And so it gives you a chance to, as you're outdoors, deciding what portion of the outdoors you want to include uh, in a painting. Maybe you want to just capture a little uh, horizontal, you know, in that particular and not even have any sky. Or a lot of sky and no bridge. So that gives you an idea that we all want to have is to, a visual to look through. So now the next step that I use in this is I take a dry erase marker and once I've decided upon you know my arrangement I then just go ahead and do a quick little you know line drawing. There's my hill. I'm gonna have a building over here, horizon line, maybe that building at the same time and so I'm using the actual scene and then just what I see through the window, that's what I'm including in my sketch. Now the nice part here, I can get an idea with the dry erase, I can just erase off. Maybe I don't want a fence there. Or maybe I want to include that fence going to the other side of the tree as well. So I can use this little dry erase opportunity. Now then when I slide that piece of white plastic in between, you know I have an actual idea of my arrangement. I'll look through the red filter and that will help me see things in black and white takes away all the color. 
I'll use that later for when I'm actually doing the painting. Okay, now a step further. I have light little red lines that you see graphed out here. And then when it comes to my actual painting paper, I will have those same corner marks. I think I decided on a horizontal, so I'll, I'll turn it this way. And so I have those same, you know, markings. So now, put my dry erase away. I have this to look at, so I can have it, you know, right there as a guide. And I can see that, look, up to that line, and I have that same line here. These are thirds, so I can also decide the focal point that golden means. So a third, so that tree comes across this third line. Halfway, or maybe a third of the way, a little bit more, a little less, is where that tree will be. So I can get those proportions above this line. I'll take a look here. And so that's what I'm talking about that I like with this. From what I'm seeing, if I like what I have here, I will be able to re-sketch and get the proportions correct. And so I only use this, you know, for the beginning. I like this idea of the uh, dry erase being able to add, you know, the fence idea, little top of the bridge, above the uh, third line, just like a horizon line and so forth, building, so I can rough mark where I want to have these items, and should I want to add something else again later on, maybe I want to have another, you know, rooftop over here, I want to have another, you know, fence post, you know, over there. So I can experiment with those ideas. And the beauty of that with the dry erase, look at either with your finger or with a, uh, a tissue, I can wipe away. Now, for a scene as simple as this, okay, I've been sketching and drawing for a while. I probably could get the proportions right once I decided on, you know, that particular window. But when it comes to a, a city scene, you know, an elaborate uh, uh, city scene, and I do a bunch of them, here's where that particular... Uh, graphing and experimenting came into play so I could get these proportions of the architecture and all the angles correct as they were before me. But this gives you a quick idea as to how I have a scene. I can open this up and then I can decide where my buddy Joe Pacetti, all you need is a friend like that and he could build one of these for you as well. And so I can take and see through this window where, what proportion I want to have in the scene. Maybe the entire scene. I'll come all the way up there. And so now I can just quick dry erase. I have those graph lines. Slide the white piece into play. I can see that, uh, that marker sketch real well. And during the painting process, I can make a decision for the values with having that red screen to look through at my landscape and then compare as I look through at my own painting. Well, I hope my little invention, uh, and it helped me with the name. I gotta have some kind of a classy name besides the, uh, uh, just a regular viewfinder. But I hope this idea, you know, helped you as it helped me and as it helps my students. So that when they come up with a, a, a good idea and they were able to quickly lay out some important reference points, and then by sliding in the white sheet, they have that locked into play, place and then they can transfer the sketch just quickly. Now, this may be only the first 10 minutes, but if you can have the layout and arrangement like you intended, sometimes I'll leave out a tree or add another one. I'm not talking about that. Wait a minute. You could try out the tree or try out the mountain on this and then just erase it away. So this might have another purpose for you to experiment with adding things. Let's think about that. But the whole idea is you have the plexiglass, you have the dry erase, you have the, uh, the white sheet into place, or you have the a red one so that you can see the value changes. I'm just trying to help you out like I do my friends. Check me out at artacademylive.com. There's where you might pick up some lessons from myself or some of my art friends. And put together one of these little things. It might help you when you're in the field and you want to get that arrangement just the way it is and transfer that arrangement to your sketch so that you can start painting. And it might end up like that someday. Hey, thanks for watching. I wanted to share with you a cute little idea that I thought would help you out. And that's what I enjoy doing. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.